and welcome back this is my third session uh, of this recording a session a third video of the recording session and I keep wanting to stop but then I keep thinking well I'm having so much fun I just want to keep going um, let's see here are researching that we're doing that and we also have already started to rearrange soldiers and we'll see how far these people get into repair before we go moving people around the Sky Ranger and swapping equipment and things like that. Okay, Wolf Battle Armor is finished, which means that we can now officially outfit the True Crisis with his proper armor. And we had two anyways, so yeah. Apparently, whenever you die, you don't lose the armor. It's good to know. It's good to know. Oh, <laughs> oh! Now we're starting to get less monthly funding from most people, except for Soviet Union, who continues to supply us with cases and cases of vodka. Heavy alien plasma. The alien heavy plasma is 35 inches in length and nearly 5 kilograms in weight. It's an alien assault weapon firing multiple powerful plasma projectiles in each shot but suffering from short range. In other words, analogous to our shotguns. The main difference in construction between this weapon and the alien plasma rifle lies in the barrel. The heavy plasma has a stubbier wide barrel that contains plasma generation chambers, blah blah blah, pretty much at the alien shotgun. However, at close quarters, it is an extremely effective weapon. It is capable of burst fire is, and is sufficiently powerful that a soldier wearing a jacket, jackal armor may as well be wearing nothing at all. <clears throat> it is also capable of destroying our hunter's scout cars in just a few shots. Try to fight aliens equipped with this weapon at long range, where an inaccuracy of the weapon will give you an advantage. Cool. Uh, does that unlock anything? It does not. Okay, so now we will do Sylvian analysis, and that shouldn't take too long. How is our Bangkok base doing? Three days. Okay. One. Two. Oh god! He's like, Darr! I'm angry! I'm impressed, Commander. Quite how your men managed to subdue such a creature is beyond me. Now it has been safely confined in a containment tank. We have been able to perform a detailed analysis on it. The te tests confirm our initial suspicions. Sylbians possess only rudimentary intelligence, have bad eyesight, and struggle to operate firearms. However, they are remarkable, al remarkably agile for such hulking creatures and can cover ground surprisingly quickly. They also possess astonishing regenerative abilities. Unless the creature is actually dead, it will regenerate virtually any damage sustained to its body. In a matter of minutes, uh, I'm sorry, any general blah blah blah, in a matter of minutes, the ability to seem to rise from unspecialized stem cells in Sylbian bloodstream, which replicate at an, an incredible rate, and can replace complex organs such as eyes or nerves just as easily as simpler structures such as muscle tissue. Clearly the volume of tissue being regenerated is too great for this to be a natural process. We believe inherent regenerative abilities are being supercharged by the nanoparticles of alenium in the alien blood serum, providing the vast quantity of energy needed to rebuild entire body parts in minutes rather than weeks. The analysis was brought to tangible results. The first is an upgrade to our battlefield medipacks, which borrow from an alien nanotechnology to help stabilize battlefield injuries. Sadly, full-blown tissue regeneration would require decades of genetic engineering. These improved medipacks <coughs> replace our previous ones and will heal at twice the rate. <coughs> the second result is a summary of known Sylvian weakness which should cause your men to inflict approximately 10% more damage when fighting these enemies. Okay, so we got new med packs. So, our med packs look like 
of that now instead of the other thing. So, therefore, let's give you one. You already have one. You already have one. Sergeant Jezebel Caster needs one. And it seems like all of our Sky Ranger peoples who were injured are no longer injured, which is excellent. And. Excellent. Okay, excellent. UFO detected. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, UFO detected. Okay, so two of them. And one right. Okay, so that's a big one. We'll go after this one. With uh, pretty much everything we got. Oh, still grounded. Oh my god, we got one craft left. One craft. For two hours, 18 hours, 21 hours. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take. We might be able to take down this light one with just one. <laughs> so auto resolve is 99% instead of, you know, should have probably just taken it. We will try to lock out one missile, make it. Come on. Oh, he's just not enough weapons. Damn it. Bug out. That did not work. Uh, that thing is too slow and crappy to move. So, yeah. And it looks like we're going to have to suffer with our mistakes of what's going on here because we have to wait for our interceptors to stop being retarded. Okay, so the command center at Bangkok has been completed. So now we can make. Let's see. Okay, how am I going to do this? I think what we need to do is we need to rotate it. And then we will also make radar arrays. And that's possibly how my fighter bases will look. I'm not really, really sure about that. And let's see if we can't intercept this now. Seven hours. So no, we cannot. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Landed carrier group, okay. Let's make sure we're ready to go this time. Let's see here. Major true crisis, is there any precision laser weapons left? Yes, there are. You have one, you do, well we never actually made heavy laser weapons. You have one. You have one, and you have one, and actually everyone has a laser weapon, that's good, except for our heavy... Oh, we're not making anything right now? Oh, sad face. Okay, let's make a scatter laser, and that shouldn't take too long. Okay. Okay, everybody looks like they're ready to go, so we'll just go ahead and intercept this one with the... Sky Ranger 2, and I'm kind of nervous because it is a uh, night mission, or it will be a night mission. Why don't you uh, sit and patrol for a while? See if we can't get that to daytime. Stop and intercept. UFO 30. Go. Then we need to take everyone else. Damn it. Okay. Well, we need you to go up there and kill that thing before it shoots down our Sky Ranger and... Ah, damn it. Okay, that's good. We need to get that down. And then, um, I said intercept. 
Ah, uh, so annoying. Okay, you, you, oh, you select new target for that. Aha, in the middle of the day, excellent. Okay. Undamaged. Oh boy, this is getting kind of scary. All right, Corporal Warboy. All right, we see one. It is a Sylbian that we probably will not get a block on. But maybe we can destroy some cover or do something to him. Major Kenshin. That's another block. Let's see if we can't get Mr. Quiet to destroy some more cover, which we did not able to do that. Uh, okay, that didn't work, so let's try... How much time you need for that? 42 time units. So we will not have enough this time, I don't think. Nope. Okay, um... Well then why don't you just go up here and then duck. And look that way possibly, and nothing, okay. Okay, I don't, well at least we... Oh, Major Kenshin, you still don't have any ammo. No. I still want to be able to throw that. I, I can't. I just can't. Sad face. Oh, we just have to drop it on the ground. Back up a step. Move over a step. Look on the ground. Pick it up. Put it in your belt. And then... Okay, well at least you have an extra shot now. That's good. And uh... Right, Jezebel Caster. Now it's gone! Which means Major Kenshin can take a nice little shot there. Okay, now we've got it. Now we've got this under control. Damn it. That's not good. Uh, can we duck and duck? Come on. Oh, uh, you can't duck? Jezmal. Damn it. Okay. True crisis. Is that a block? No. 95% chance to hit. I like it. Bam. That's it. And we see the craft right here. Very nice. So, not being said... If we know the craft is here, then why don't we just look toward that way? Actually, how much time do you have left? No. Okay. Alright. Everyone else needs to move out just a little bit if you can. Which I don't think you actually can, actually. No. No one really has that many time units left. Horse of Fat can look out and see nothing. And uh, Private Blanks, who has significantly uh, was working out at the gym, I saw him and got more time units back. All right. Lots of people shooting. But not at us, so I just don't care. So plenty of people who can shoot out the back here, so... No, no, stop, stop, stop. Ah, damn it. That was stupid. Uh, yeah. We will crouch and 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 crouch. Okay. Awesome. So we have a lot of people that can shoot down the wind here, so we'll just have our brave little scout move up. To spot more aliens, potentially, and not see anything. Okay. So that means they're over there, that way. 
Man, they are just having a war over there, I think. Oh, Jesus! Holy smokes! What just happened? Oh my god, my whole squad could have just been wiped. <laughs> oh my god. That was really, really bad. Wow! Uh, did anyone actually get damaged? Only slightly. Not enough time units. Oh boy, we gotta take this out. Guys, come on. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. We are in trouble. Okay, that was close. Damn it. Whew, those things are nasty. Private blanks to save the day. Okay. Uh, Warboy, you need to go back and come this way. And we see one more. Fuck. Okay, private blanks. You need to redeem yourself, sir. Okay, I can't complain about that because you did hit him. And I don't think anybody has enough time units to really do anything. Mr. Quiet, I think you do have some kind of a shot there. Nope, you hit a hail bale. Which is not a good thing. Okay, Horse Love Fat. You do have a chance to shoot him. For that much. 40%. No. Nothing. Holy smokes! What was that? Okay, apparently the Sylbian has AHD. And is shooting at... Looks like there's a war going on over there between the farmers and the Sylbians. And I am what... Well, very happy that this war is going on, because this is ridiculous. Alright. Well, alright, let's, uh, I think Corporal Blanks needs some kills. So let's give him one, or try to give him one anyways. Okay, that's two kills for Corporal Blanks. And Mr. Quiet. Actually, no. For some reason, Warboy is not suppressed, so he'll move forward. He sees uh, that guy who is uh, kind of pissing his pants, not gonna lie. Uh, lots of fire coming from this building in this general vicinity. That civilian looks pretty screwed right now. Actually, from the rate of fire that came out of that, it looks like that could possibly be a cyberdisc thingy. But I would not know that for sure. And Mr. Quiet, or Morboy, just wasted all of his bloody time units just running all around the place. And we'll move some people up, and we'll also fan some other people up as well. And god dang, misclicks! Alright. Corporal Blank still has like zero time units. Major Kenshin will walk out that way, and Jezebel Caster will sit over here and go that way. Okay. I apologize for this guy because he's gonna die, but he just doesn't move him. Okay, there he is. We got him. He finally came out, wasting all his time units on that one little dude who did not die yet. Did not die. Despite getting horribly shot at. One of the luckiest freaking farmers ever. Corporal Blanks, why don't you uh, 
have a 100% chance to block. Major Kenshin has... Damn it, okay. Still 100% chance to block. Now we have a shot. Bam! And death. And we officially saved a civilian. Okay. Now, if I remember like, right last time, that there was a lot of aliens from this map came from that direction. And we will try to move some people forward here. And I am way over time right now. So I think that'll be all for this episode. Uh, join me next time on Xenonauts Beta. This is Jay Sang signing out.